It's your day. Hey, out of the way. Get up, kid. Uh, Tim Dillon's got a complex, an apartment complex that he's been kicked out of. It's an old David Ann. All right. Um, very, very cool. Very funny. We've got some great stuff coming up for you here today. We wanted to show that Joe Rogan clip next. Oh, yeah. Let's watch this. So we can't follow Joe Rogan anymore. We tried to watch one of his episodes the other day with uh, Brian Redband. They were and wearing... we turned it off in two minutes because we needed to use the computer. Yeah, well, because you could only, only watch through the computer. You got to get an HDMI cable out to hook it up to the TV, and it's through Spotify. And there's really about six or seven really terrible ads at the beginning of his show. He's really going crazy, and even in his YouTube clips now, you should see the ending. Remind me to show people the ending. Joe Rogan's YouTube clip. Now he's begging. Please join me on Spotify, please. It is absolutely free. It's not free. Our time is not free. Hearing constant ad after ad, that's not free. Um, and again, you got $100 million. You got more. This $100 million is on top of probably the $100 million you already had. Isn't that enough money? Can you spare us? Maybe uh, one commercial free show per... I got to be commercial free, but Joe Rogan can't. I got to sit here and be commercial free, but Joe Rogan can't. We need to be more mad about that. But here he is with Justin Wren, and I don't know what to call this. This is an infomercial. Do you know Justin Wren? Oh, such a heartwarming man. He saved the pygmies. You know him? Oh, this? I know every person that's on the screen. I know all about Justin Wren. He's this big guy, the cowardly lion. Let me pull him up. And Joe has had this little fucking liar, and I knew there was something up with this guy since day one. Let me show you this guy. Any person who dedicates their life to bullshit charities is up to something. It's a scheme. It's a shell game. It's a con. I, I'm just so sure of it. Here he is, Justin Wren. Joe's had him on about three times and couldn't be more boring. Some of the worst episodes I've ever heard. His claim to fame is that he goes to these fucking Oompa Loompa villages in Brazil and saves the pygmies. You know, maybe I'd be interested in this if he went there and, you know, napalmed the place. But saving them? Sorry. Hey, Justin, maybe the pygmies want to be left alone. Yeah. So he goes down there. Let's pull up some pictures of him with the pygmies. Type in Justin Wren, pygmy. And his whole existence, he's an ad man. It's his way of making money and selling ads. You know, everybody finds their angle. And to pretend that you're charitable is a great way to sell ads. It's a great avenue. Here he is with these fucking pygmies. Again, I have no time for this. You know, and do the pygmies need to be photo, uh, be in a photo shoot with you every five minutes? How about just go down there? He's taking someone's baby. And how many of them can there be? Maybe they shouldn't be living alone in the woods. Did you ever say, hey, pygmies, come on down. Maybe we'll get you, a, uh, you know, like a townhouse to live in. He doesn't it's help not them. He safe. gives them a couple hugs. He takes a couple pics and he gives them a subway. I really hate this. And it's like any per it's like, come on. You know, I'm supposed to think you're so great because you got a pygmy to look at an iPhone and smile. Kanye it's abusive. The pig means Yeezys. Yeah, to me, there's nothing more racist and abusive. Remember than... when Kanye went to Uganda and gave them all free Yeezys and then told them that he was going to turn it into a Jurassic Park and then never zoo? came back? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, really, just enough with this shit. And I know I don't feel bad for a couple dozen pygmies in the woods. You know, I, I don't know. Tile the floor. Why don't you go down there with some tile? And some uh, drywall. Maybe that would help them. You know, going down there and giving them some water just so they could suffer for another year. It, it's even more cruel. He doesn't give them any food. No. <laughs> just some water and the pictures. The pictures. He makes them work. You know, they're exhausted from the pictures. You know, picture after picture. He's got more pictures than I got in my whole life of him with these pygmies. Oh, he used to be a UFC fighter. You know, and he's running ads. Again, I can't buy you as a charitable man when you're doing stuff like this. And I can't believe this uh, clip was put on Joe Rogan's YouTube. And I'm glad that I clicked on this. I was captured by the title. It's called Joe Rogan Samples Whiskey. 
Very exciting. And when I saw this, I go, oh boy, you know, what is he going to do a whiskey taste test? And I'm one of these guys. Listen, I'm pretty particular. I'll tell you this. I'm particular when it comes to coffee. I'm particular when it comes to bottled water. I am not particular when it comes to whiskey. Hmm. Uh-oh. Could it be that these whiskey people are kind of full of shit? I don't uh, like being particular when it comes to alcohol. Uh, I think that alcohol is, you know, for a purpose. Uh, you take a shot of it, shut the fuck up, and go away. Me throwing this down my throat like this takes no different than throwing any fucking alcohol down my throat. You get a quick burn, goes away, and then, whoo, a buzz. That's it. I mean, it really is gay. It's like if I sat around, people go, ooh, the, if you sat around and talked about the notes of the weed, you'd all be disgusted. <laughs> you got a lot of people I get all the time. I'm like, man, what's with the cheap whiskey? You got to get Maker's Mark. You think Maker's Mark is so impressive? You know, it's like $4 more. Isn't that more. considered a cheap whiskey yeah, now? Yeah, that's cheap. I feel like don't brag Nobody about your gives whiskey if you bought it at the same store that you can get Jim Exactly, Jim yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe brag if it's like a $200 one shot, one bottle that you had to hunt one down one in your shot. grandpa's yeah. attic. I have no interest uh, in whiskey stuff. Justin Wren does. Hey, and Justin Wren is going to bring over a bunch of bullshit from Buffalo Trace. Let me just Google that. Oh, that? Buffalo Trace. Oh, now that's a whiskey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. Now, this is very confusing to me because Rogan is constantly doing ads for Buffalo Trace. This is confusing. So we're going to figure this one out together. Is this a designed ad by the two of them? Is this an actual gift? And Justin Wren doesn't know that Buffalo Trace is one of Joe Rogan's sponsors. I mean, basically what's going to happen here is this. Joe Rogan's sitting there and Justin Wren goes, I got you an unbelievable gift. My sponsor, Buffalo Trace, has given... And I'm going, why would Joe Rogan want Buffalo Trace as a gift when it's his sponsor? So then I'm thinking maybe this guy doesn't know it's a sponsor. But then I'm watching... Well, I'll just we'll let it... We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I think this is so disgusting on both ends and then but there's a a, a really funny thing that happens here and then we're going to show you how despicable this Justin Wren is and I want to take away his pygmy license <laughs> you know I want to put him on the no fly list stop helping people it really is sickening ooga booga here we go <laughs> the Joe Rogan experience there's something special and we're going to kick this off with a bang uh oh yeah something I don't know about something you don't know about uh oh but we'll get into it okay yeah special yeah tell me you can do it now? Sure. Awesome. Well, let's do it. He has a gift for Rogan. We're going to do something special. Is it special for Rogan or is it special for the company Buffalo Trace? You know, this is so funny. I'm going to give you this gift on the show. It's a sponsor. This is a way of getting a free ad on a show that supposedly gets 30 million views or whatever. You know, this isn't a gift. This is uh, your sponsor gave you some fucking whiskey and they go, I don't care what you got to do. Get this whiskey in front of or people. On is it a genuine gift? And he's just and so he stupid. Know. He didn't realize that Rogan is. Doesn't matter. Any time you pull out a product on a show, Joe Rogan is too big for any product to be involved without it getting cleared first. Okay, it's too big. Anything you take out and present to Joe as a gift, if it has a brand name attached to it, it's suspect. Okay, you can't do it. There's a reason why they don't do this on TV. Okay, there's a reason they blur out labels. It gets icky, it gets murky, and it could be a conflict of interest. It could be uh, a brand getting a whole commercial for free. And here you go, eight minutes and 33 seconds of Buffalo Trace getting a full commercial to millions of people. Is Joe getting a piece? And Is this guy getting a piece? And they posted on their YouTube channel? It's on the YouTube channel. You know, I don't know what's going on here, but I, uh, I think something bad's going on here. But some good goes on here because they do screw ups. Okay, we're gonna watch these two screw up, and it, uh, I've been waiting to show how bad of a character this Ren is. You know, because when I see charitable people, I I get real suspicious, and I know this Ren is full of fucking shit. And Joe buys into the more full of shit you are, the more Joe thinks you're amazing. So that's how I know this guy sucks. And again, the pygmy thing. You've wasted so much of my time. I'm watching your interviews about this pygmy shit. I really couldn't care less if they dropped the fucking atom bomb on the pygmies. What's happening? Well, you and your team 
Listen. You uh, picked Fight for the Forgotten, uh, my nonprofit, as charity of choice with okay. Buffalo Trace. Yes. And we're going to do something really special for all your fans. Oh, 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 oh. what are you going to do? Sell us uh, the thing you're selling? What are you going to do special for us? Sell us a product? They're going to have Joe taste test whiskey, and that's supposed to be a treat and an honor for us. Meanwhile, it's an infomercial for this brand. What do we get out of this? <laughs> this is con man stuff, and Joe's too stupid to sniff it out. Yes. And we're going to do something really special for all your fans. Oh. But first, um, I want to do something. I, I talked with Bo Beckman, his Bo great Beckman. grandfather's great grandfather. I think his name's like T.H. I don't know, Eckert or something like that. He um, he started basically the modern day bourbon in America. Oh, yeah. So anyways, I asked him, I was talking with Bo, and said, can we do something special for Joe? Can we do something special for Joe? I can't believe Joe. See, and because it's Justin Ren, this goody two-shoes pygmy charity man, Joe won't say anything. You know, if this was somebody else, Joe would call, you know, I've seen him be like so shitty with other people where he doesn't allow this crap you know, like who wouldn't he allow this from? Like there are other guys who, if they started doing a fucking brand deal on his show, Joe <laughs> would kind of be upset, but he can't because this is charitable. Ren, and how much stuff is Ren getting away with because he's such a good guy helping 12 people? How about invest some of those efforts here in America here? We, the pygmies are going to die no matter what. They're going to have horrible lives. The minute they get a skin knee, they're fucked. You don't need to help them. Help me. And he was like, yeah, what do you, what are you thinking? And so I talked with my buddy, Ryan, who's the vice president of our board. And we thought about it and we we're like, what if we could get a barrel from Buffalo Trace and we could give it to Joe? And oh, so Jesus. we thought we'd do a sample tasting for you and you okay. get to pick. Oh, what a present. What a present. And uh, we thought we would have the guys from uh, Chase Bank come in and, uh, as a present, of course, uh, tell you about their latest uh, deal. Well, last time I went to the liquor store, there was a woman sit, uh, standing at a table right in the entrance. Yeah. And she said, oh, I have a special gift for you. Yeah. A sample of this drink. You mean you're advertising <laughs> this drink that you want me to buy? I, I, are we really this stupid? I've got a special gift for you, Joe. An ad from, and are you getting paid by Buffalo Trace? Like this type of guy, he's gotten away with so much that Buffalo Trace is probably paying him a boatload of money to do this on Rogan's show. They didn't even ask Rogan. And I, I, don't, I mean, I don't know. Unless Rogan's in on this too. I, again, confusing. either way you caught it. You say the end. We got to show the whole thing. Yeah, you got to see this. It. It's so funny. And oh, so. Jesus. We thought we'd do a sample tasting for you, and you okay. get to pick a single barrel select. Basically, I guess, I'm not a whiskey connoisseur, but basically you're about to be able to do a wine, or not wine, but oh. whiskey tasting. Really? And you're going to be able to pick out your own Buffalo Trace barrel. Whoa. It doesn't taste like any of the rest. Oh. What I didn't know about barrels of whiskey is that, what is it, they come from like 70 to 90 year old trees, and then each one of them starts off as kind of like this moonshine look and it's clear when they and put this it this is all copy he's reading copy this isn't interesting oh this brand does this oh wonderful that's copy that you're reading you know th that you're selling to all of us as information it's not information this is just information about a brand so that people go and buy this whiskey how despicable in the barrels but then the the taste of whiskey comes from like 67% of the taste comes from the barrel itself. Really? Yeah, but the trees oh. are all different trees, right? So those things, I think they call them staves or something. It's yeah, like, exactly. Uh, Some guy in there, he would never let any other guest direct the show. This is an ad, 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 ad. They hate you, Ryan. And you know what? This opened the door. We're going to fully investigate your little charity. We're going to see where this money's going, this pygmy cash. Okay, Wonka. 35 of those things that make the barrel. This is what Wonka right. did, by the way. Did. Wonka was despicable. He went to Oompa, Loompa Village, and he stole those people. He made them come and work in the factory. If you rewatch uh, Wonka, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, whatever you call it, it's a, he went to this island. He stole all these little black kids they wanted and to made them uh, make candy in his factory for free. 
and they were little enough to get into the cogs and the clanks of his factory. It's disgusting. You're no different than Wonka. And Wonka, at the end, they find out he worked with Spunkmeyer, whatever that guy's name. What was his name? The evil guy? I forget. That Wonka worked with, you know? You're the Wonka expert around yeah, here. Yeah, you're lucky that I saw Wonka because it opened my eyes to a lot of bull. All right. <laughs> here we go. Wood trees. slats. Yeah, the yeah. wood slats. Mm -hmm. um, and so they all taste different, every barrel. Listen Whenever to this it's a crap. select barrel. So I guess like what they do with Buffalo Trace is they take a bunch of those barrels and they put them all in there together so it has one consistent taste. But whenever you just take one barrel, it's always a unique flavor. Okay. So we got a few. <laughs> Joe hates this. Try. You can yeah, see, but Joe doesn't have the gut. <laughs> and this is what I mean. It's like, how about Joe, you say what you really mean instead of sitting there like a corporate little bitch. He knows this sucks. This is the problem. You got the hundred million. And you're allowing this BS to happen on your show. How long do you think this is going to last before people start getting sick of it? This ad man bullshit. Look, you don't even like it. You want to say something, but how could you offend the wonderful Wren? I wish Alexis Wren was on this show. Naked. Showing it all. <laughs> I'm not a whiskey nerd, but here we go. <laughs> Here's going to be sample one. Oh, I need Jesus. you to put that maybe to the left or right. Watch this or watch it. Do I have to test then, these? Yeah. Mm. Well, here, here's the idea. Looks like I'm going to get hammered again. <laughs> Need glasses? Do you? We, we so. got them right here. Oh, he's got them. Yeah, I got them right here. I thought that Bo, Bo helped us out. Enough. And look at Joe so, wearing his Kill Cliff shirt. Can you believe it? Kill Cliff. It's a terrible energy drink. I'll show it when he comes down. Kill Cliff. I mean, you're wearing the shirt of your sponsor. That is way too far. You don't even have clothes anymore that you like to wear. It's just billboards of brands that you sell. Uh, how far are you going to take this? It, it's really, it's become too much. Framework. you like yours with water in it? Or no. No. What am I, girl? <laughs> well, this this is Bye. the idea. That's stunk. Well, this is how we wanted to say thank you. Oh, yeah? Is you you see that? This is how we wanted to say thank you, me and this brand. It's not a thank you to give somebody a product that's free from your company. It's an ad. Really? That's so disgusting. We just wanted to say thank you by giving you $6 worth of our product. Could you imagine getting a gift like this? Yikes. Take your own thing. Yep, here's a glass. Oh, this is hilarious. But this, this is, is so why we're nerdy. doing it. It's nerdy, sure. But this is. <laughs> <laughs> I like this some is gonna nerdy be great. things. You know, and right. Ren thought this was going to go. Here's what I'm going to tell you. You know, this is going to backfire on Ren. Ren thought this was going to be perfect. He found the perfect trick. The perfect con. I'll come in there. Joe will think it's a gift. He's stupid. You know, and we'll do this whole thing. And then you could hear Joe kind of chipping away at the glamour of it all by kind of poo-pooing the taste test. You know, Joe is always the guy, I believe, he's the guy who says, there's no difference in wine. I can't do this. You know, he's always kind of been the man's man where he knocks this kind of horse shit, right? That's why we all started listening to this. And Ren is, you know, you pick up on these little moments where Joe is going to, oh, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. And Ren, well, it's uh, not that ridiculous. Wow. So maybe what's happening is uh, what's Buffalo Trace is a sponsor of Joe. Mm -hmm. And then this guy is coming in to do his own Buffalo Trace thing. Maybe Joe's furious because Buffalo Trace is getting a 10 minute spot that he's not getting paid. Yeah, for. that's definitely that one of the explain options. explain why he would put it up as a clip. It's so confusing. Well, it could be this. Joe is sponsored by Buffalo Trace. Ren doesn't know that because Ren's out there conning and scheming. He doesn't pay attention to anything. Ren comes in thinking he could do a sneak-free ad on his show. Joe picks up on it and then goes, you know what? He got away with doing the sneak ad. I'll call Buffalo Trace and say, listen, I'll put this up as a clip. You cut me in. Throw me some more cash. Oh, I love cash. We'll put it up as a clip, and then now my anger has subsided because I've been paid twenty five hundred bucks. That's definitely what happened. I'm That's definitely that. what happened. And how sickening, you know, when I discover these allegations that I made up in my mind, <laughs> it really disgusts us. And it's they go, "Holy shit!" You know, I'll tell Jules. I'll come up with an allegation that I've completely made up in my mind, and I'll tell it to Jules. I'll be like, "I think blah blah blah," and she'll go, "Oh!" I'm, and she'll be furious, and I'll go. <laughs> But it's just an allegation, but it's got to be true. You know, it's got to be true. That's why, sense. and you see the chat do it too. We all get so mad because we know this is what's happening. And how dare you 
use us like this after all you've got after all the ads you know it's just so sick let's hear some more because this backfires on ren who i really want to look into the taxes i want to go over every number i will pay for the auditing by the way that's what's so fun about making money now i'll pay for all these services let's audit justin ren <laughs> you tell me why i gotta call i'll just call an auditor i'll say how much do you charge do you charge <laughs> Can the IRS look at a rent? I just want, yes, I'll pay for the time for the IRS agent to go in there and audit rent because I believe we will find some sticky dicky numbers, Ren. It's not a negative. Yeah. Here's why we're doing this. We wanted to say thank you from Fight for the Forgotten and Buffalo Trace because we're about to to do this big raffle for Fight for the Forgotten. Oh, a raffle. Another honest man's game. I love a raffle. You mean a lottery where you make money? We're going to do a raffle. Anybody who's doing a raffle... It's for them, not you. We wanted to say thank you. And we're also doing a raffle coming up, another promotion. Let me guess, do I got to pay in for the raffle? Well, yeah. Look at this con man. He's got it all figured out, doesn't he? But you'll get 220 bottles yourself from whatever whiskey you choose. 220 bottles of whiskey? <laughs> yeah, but what we're going to do... Jesus Christ, are you trying to kill me? No. It's an we're trying to give you a gift that you can give your guest. Okay, well that's if trying you'd like. to give you a gift that you could give your guest. Can you do this off screen? You know, this is quite the gift. I mean, I'm sure Tide and Clorox would love to give Joe a gift of their product too, on air. Wouldn't that be something? A free gift. In trade for millions of dollars worth of free advertising. It would have the that. Joe Rogan Experience logo on it. Oh! It'll have a thank you from Fight for the Forgotten. So this is sample number one. That's sample number one. Go on the left. Okay. Yeah, and that's up. con man trick number one. Put their logo on it. Ooh, they'll lead it right up. Put their logo on it. Ooh, then they'll like it. Oh, you put your logo on the, the ad. Are you kidding me? Number one. Sample number one. I'll give a little right there. Look at this. So Joe Rogan is now then, pouring like these little, they've got these little tiny bottles of whiskey and each one is supposedly from a different barrel and they're supposed to all taste magically different. And Joe's putting them in these little, you know, what do they call it? A a flight? What do they call yeah. that? Where they got a fuck is so stupid. You go to like a bar and grill place and they're like, would you like to try the beer taster flight? So cool. Yeah, it's we only $18. The other day and there was a guy a few tables down from us that was like, Oh, uh, can you make sure that you bring my... He was, like, requesting that they bring his drink on. And he was, like, on one of those little wooden boards. Yeah, like the sampler board. That is so stupid. Like, that was the big oh, highlight of this evening. Really, and that bothers me. it was not me. a place that you would be asking for that. No, he wanted it. Yeah, he wanted it to look like a bullshit tasting. All right, let's see. Look at Joe's little face. And by the way, Joe is turtleizing in this weird way. I mean, he really... He's never looked worse. He's like a little ball. So all those little pills he takes, all those little... What? Did you, sorry. Did oh, you go see on. that video of someone posted on the BBG of him and Tom Papa in the same room and Tom Papa sat, standing like so, all the yeah, way yeah, back yeah, yeah. at the end of the room and Joe is right in the foreground and he's still shorter? Yeah, I've been to like museums where they have like a <laughs> built-in thing like that. Yeah, Joe Rogan, he's very short. If you didn't know, he raises his chair up to here and again all that bodybuilding to look like this i wouldn't wish this look on my worst enemy you look like a testicle so let's see what he does here and this is cool because it does backfire on ren who i believe is evil real problem this episode I might start and i'll have one with joe when he has one okay we'll taste this is sample number two okay and i can tell you about him actually Oh. Can you really? Like, a little bit. I can tell you about him. And then he takes out his phone to read copy. So you can't tell him. You could read what Buffalo Trace told you to read and make sure you just read this. Whatever you do, if you read this, there'll be a bonus. You can't tell him about anything. Buffalo Trace can. How despicable. And this is what our air, this is what you're watching. And by the way, there's ads on it and you're paying for Spotify premium and all this. It's just so we could have more mosquito money. I like how they come in these little, like, whiskey uh, flask-type deals. Yeah, so they took this straight from the barrel, and each one of these should have a very distinct or different taste. And so basically, mm. you can choose it. Uh, I mean... You don't believe him, Joe? Then speak up. Notes. That's real nerdy, but they gave me one of these. Oh, Bo's Jesus a great Christ. guy. What is, what is it? Nerds, like, hints and tastes. You can do barrel one, two, three, four. 
No, 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 no. How are you going to remember? See, Joe we'll knows. He's like, no, no, no. I've been, you know, mocking this my whole life here, Red. Well, then, Joe, why did you make it a clip then, Joe? Because at the end of the day, you got a little money. I just don't know what he's in for. I mean, did you make a bet, a bad bet? What do you need all this cash for? What is going on that you to need this money for? for? Red Band and Tony's home. But that's, boom, I could pay for Red Band and Tony's home. That's cheap. The Corvette, all of it. That's cheap. What's going on, Joe, that you desperately need all this money? By the time I get to barrel three, <laughs> it's just guesswork. <laughs> I did a pot uh, tasting thing once. It was uh, pot tasting cannabis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a um, cannabis cup. I was one of the judges. Cannabis cup. It was ridiculous. Oh, I was uh, uh, obliterated. By by the time I got to like <laughs> the third or there fourth choice, the nice hoodie. I had no idea where I was. I'm like, I couldn't feel my legs. All right, it's thin. so let's try number one. Sample number one is seven years and nine months old. Okay. <laughs> Disgusting. Came from warehouse way. L for. On the fourth it floor. It came oh, from warehouse, warehouse L. L on the. And by the way, it's not like this is the legendary Playboy Mansion. It's Buffalo Trace shitty factory that they just built. <laughs> they just came out. Who cares? You know what I mean? It's not like Buffalo Trace is oh one of the most respected names in the in all of time. Who cares? It came from warehouse L. That's disgusting. I don't drink things that come from warehouse L. That's an it's L. Good. Tastes good? Very good. So now like you would have to choose if Buffalo you want this Trace. Water. They make a damn good whiskey. Yeah, they do. All right. And they've been so good to us. Oh, That's yeah. Have one. they been so good to you by paying you the money for saying that they're good? What do you mean they've been so good to you? That the sponsorship hasn't fallen through yet? That's all that that means. Wow, we love Manscaped. Yeah, because they give you the money and they haven't terminated your deal yet. Why else would you love them? It's just a company. They sell a crappy, and by the way, that Manscaped thing, you could go to Walgreens, whatever the bottom shelf cheapest product is there, it's better than what Manscaped has. And they'll sit there and yes, gush after over. after we told you guys about how shitty the yeah. Manscaped thing was, we saw all these other ads. Who's just doing for an ad? Logan, I Logan think. Paul. And he was like, the work that they put into crafting the And I know luxury, trust me, this, this is- This is a high end This is what Logan Paul said. So these guys are lying through their teeth. I mean, I showed you this big plastic piece of junk. They it wouldn't would even cut my arm hair off. Until they had the no. perfect. No, they went on Alibaba.com. They bought a cheap razor and they cheaply pad printed their logo on it and made some packaging. That is all. I mean, this has really gone too far. This is like going into illegal territory. I hope this whole thing gets shut down one day. Now try number two. I feel like such a dork. I'm smelling it and shit. <laughs> mm, like, you know, I do that at wine. Like, if I buy a glass of wine at a restaurant, they pour it for you. Watch and you smell it. I don't know what the fuck. And I'm then doing. again, shame on you know this guy goes. This is unbelievably boring. Fuck Justin. It's like, yeah. Why would you go on to Joe's show and think that this is something that you know we'd we'd all want here? Uh, but there is a payoff here because Ren's going to get it right in the ass. Uh, because Joe just cannot, you know, uh, you know, he could only do so much. He could only lie so much. And right? I also don't think he really likes being alpha and told what to do. Exactly. By guy in this way. So a lot of it has to do with, yeah, Joe don't like being directed or handled or told what to do. And here's Ren, a guy that Joe, you know, pretends to respect. So we can't really stop him. You know, but I think Joe's kind of seen Ren for his true colors here. Look at this asshole. Sons of Anarchy over here. I would rather be with the guy from Sons of Anarchy. At least he, you know, ran guns, honestly. You know, there's better people here. Oh, I love a thermostat in the shot. Imagine if I had a giant thermostat in the shot. Uh, how stupid could you be? Put a thermostat right there. All right, let's hear this because there's a big payoff. I pretend. You would know. There's this. I, I've, I've asked that too because I used to serve it. I'd be like, "Why are people doing this? This seems so dumb. No yeah. one's ever given one back. <laughs> On a rare occasion, you have to send one back because like something." Oh, one time it. I did have to yeah. send the glass back. Yeah. A gla by the glass because mm. I think they had it open too long. Mm. I was like, "I'm just sorry." Can anyone zoom in? I wish this show was shot in a higher resolution. Because imagine what's in these little notebooks here. Look at all these fucking paper. If somebody brought all this sh fucking notes to my show, I'd kick them right out. <laughs> what's in here? Randy's got the phone and notebooks and graphs and all this stuff to keep the lies straight. All right, let's see. And look, Ren's getting nervous because he's going, 
oh no, is Rogan gonna start Rogan gonna start saying that this is like bullshit? Because I promised Trace that uh, you know we'd sell this shit. Mm-hmm. You are a what are you doing with the pig? I bet he's raped the pig meat kid. That's a bet, not a fact. <laughs> Can't get uh, in trouble for a bet. Let's see what happens. Never do this. I'll have one with him. Like, Cheers, guy. Like vinegar. It was terrible. Yep, yep, yep. It yeah, it can rarely happen. But, mm. but I think that was at a, a place where the bottle was just sitting around for like a couple mm. weeks or something mm. and nobody had ordered it. There we go. Number two. Number two. This one is eight years, three months old. Oh, dear. Oh, that's so good. Very good, too. Watch Which this. This is, like the, this is so good. You know? They're both really good. I don't Listen, know. Yeah. They do make good fucking whiskey. Like, you, t- you can taste the difference. Like Ren's getting like, nervous. Hell, what's the difference? So this is this is how Bo said it. All you got to do is, like, if you have four pancakes in front of you, keep it simple. Which pancake do you like the best? He's like coaching Joe to pick one that's better because if there's not one that's better, this whole thing kind of falls apart, right? You got to like one more than the other. If they all taste the same, this kind of falls apart. So he's kind of co- just pretend they're uh, pancakes. Which one do you like better? Is this a market research study? I mean, really, is this like, am I getting a $35 check for helping them figure <laughs> out which cracker is the best? You know, do you remember this? I used yeah. to go to these things when I was a kid. You did? Oh, yeah. My mom was big into this. My mom got into like this whole secret shopper taste test world. And when I was a kid, this was a big deal. She goes, I signed you up. You'll make 35 bucks. All you got to do is go in there and taste some crackers. And you go into this place and they, you know, it's like Keebler's coming out with a new cracker and they. I feel like my friend was into that kind of thing and she tried to get me to do yeah. it. And then she sent me the big long list of the ones you could sign up for. But they, you only got like 10 bucks. Well, yeah, so we got like, go all the way it was $38 to me. Hey, I'll tell you something in seventh grade or eighth grade or whatever I was. $35 was a lot. And, but I even, it was too much time. It was like three hours out of the day. It's to to make it. $35, I never went back. <laughs> and it was a little awkward being in the room with all these pieces of shit. But that's what this is. It's like, uh, why is this happening on a comedy? By the way, comedy podcast. Comedy podcast. And this is a clip. A clip. We've watched the whole thing. Is there anything clip worthy about this? Have you seen my clips on YouTube? Does this resemble a clip? And people are liking this. Blue check marks or praise. Oh, Joe, you fire emoji. <laughs> Hope someone sees that and then clicks on my name and signs up. You know, this whole thing's a sham. All right, but here's the good part. Coming up. Fucking pancakes. <laughs> it was three. Yep. Three's got a nice taste. That's oh. that's a little unusual. Where's the rank? Three is eight years, two months old. Mm. He's so getting three nervous. Oldest? You can see this fat uh, fuck actually, getting nervous. Two is the oldest so far. Eight years, really? three months. Two and three are my favorites. Two and three. Mm. Okay, wait. One. Wait. It's watch. Guessing. If you gave me one and said it was three, I'd be like, amazing. I have good taste. Too young. So you could see if one has more well, character, I- like a bolder flavor, one that you think your friends would enjoy more that don't know much about whiskey. Your friends. They're all the same. <gasps> They're all the same? I'm, I'm lying. I'm lying to these people. I'm lying. They're all the same. Can you believe it? Uh Uh-oh, Ren. Uh, Is there anything in your phone that tells you what to do when Joe says, I'm lying? They're all the same. (laughs) You know, the clip should be Joe Rogan outs Justin Ren as fraud. Liar, caught, and then it's one of my little thumbnails. So here it is. Look at this. Ren didn't want this. Look at Ren. Look at how nervous Ren is right there. That big bad guy. Uh, I'll tie up his legs. I'll make him fall in that pygmy. I hope those pygmies take you down. Like, what's that? Uh, Gulliver's you know, the, Travels. Yeah, Gulliver's Travels. <laughs> this is Gulliver's Travels incarnate. Look at Joe. Listen to this. They're all the same? I'm, I'm lying. I'm lying to these people. I can't tell the difference. They're all great. I think great. three was slightly different. They're all great, though? Three was slightly different. Do but they're all taste like he's really panicking. good whiskey. Do do you like, look do you at like this. Like Hold on. slightly different. Oh, know? wait. You got to see these panic eyes. I love He's this. He's like repeating the things that Joe says that he wants everyone to yes. hear. So you said it was good. They're and, great. Uh, They're great. A bit different. They're all good. Not the same. Look at the panic. And I thought you were just here to help pygmies. Who are you really trying to help? Brands. 
could see if one has more character, and like a bolder flavor. Just one watch his eyes. Would enjoy this is a con man. Let's cream. investigate. Look at They're him. all the same. They're all the same? I'm, I'm lying. I'm lying to these people. <laughs> I can't tell the difference. Look they're at all him. great. I they're think three was slightly different. <laughs> What's in the phone? Three was slightly different. Do but they all taste three like again? really good Wait, whiskey. Right. Do you, I like, need to taste you like three, three and two? two. All right. Well, listen Next. to him. Right. Here we go. <laughs> He's panicking. We're going to do two and three. Wait, two and show, it down show two three. But that's just like, if you gave me a bottle Sorry, of one and told me it was three, I'd be like, The minute perfect. I unzoom, it'll... I really wouldn't know. Okay. I'm just lying. Come back to him. Here we go. Here's three. What the hell? I needed red. It's real good. All right, here's two. <laughs> <laughs> this is not going good for Ren. And you're on Red Bar, Ren. Send this to him. I mean, maybe there's a slight difference between two and three. Uh, Let's just go with three. three it's a good number. Three? three is a magic number, according three, to De La Soul. Three is the magic number, and that one was <laughs> born October 25th, 2012. Ooh, All right, that's, perfect. Say that's when it was Look born. Look at the fear. Yay. <laughs> so basically what we're going to do is we're going to be able to do that and Make you a bottle, uh, 220 bottles. He doesn't want it. He doesn't want it. Just give him anything. Joe Rogan does not need free whiskey from Buffalo Trace, who already sponsors him and gives him free. He probably has a garage full of stacks yes. and crates Junk. and crates of Buffalo no one whiskey needs shit it. that he's been sent. You've been outed, Blonde Beard. It's logo on wow. it. Wow. And uh, then you can give it to wow. your own Yeah, did you hear it, Joe? Wow. Because now he's a little tipsy from all that whiskey. Look at the eyes. Does this look like a gift-giving face? When I give gifts to people, I don't panic. Look at my phone for the answers to why the gift is a scheme. I'm taking you down, you UFC coward. You cowardly lying. And he goes, the uh, cowardly lying. Yeah. Get it? Because he's lying. He looks like that. You ever been beat up by the Tin Man? Who am I if in The Wizard of Oz? The scarecrow. No, you're the wizard. I'm the wizard. You got that right. And I'm going to take down this whole cast. All you're right. The witch. Uh, Hinchcliffe is the Tin Man. Yeah. Got no heart. Right. I'm the witch. Yeah, that's right. I'm the witch. <laughs> if the witch, the witch needs more credit. And I love the lockdown because what are you going to do? Come over here and break uh, all these laws? You're dead. All right. Let's uh, see how he gets out of this one. Fifth, 2012. All right. Perfect. So say that's when it was born. Yay. So, basically what we're going to do is we're going to be able to do that and make you a bottle of uh, 220 bottles. And it'll have the Joe Rogan Experience logo on it. Wow. And uh, then oh, you can give it to your... Joe does not care. We're going to get the logo on it, though. And that way, hopefully, you'll put it in camera every show. He doesn't care. He hates his logo. We He's all hate our logo. 220 bottles? That is such a pain in the ass. I know. And by the way, uh, you're only into your logo like the first year you have a logo. And then you're like, Ugh, I fucking hate my logo. Shut the fuck up. My logo reminds me of working. I don't want my logo on anything. You know, we're over the logo. You think Joe wants that shitty fucking logo in his face one more time? As if he doesn't get enough botch tattoo email pics sent to him. He does not care. The logo is crap. Your, your guest as a thank you for Beautiful. being on the show. Beautiful. Catch new episodes Listen, of the Joe Rogan Experience for ends. free only on Spotify. Watch back catalog JRE videos begging. on Spotify, including clips. Easily, seamlessly switch between video and audio experience. On Spotify. I like somebody it, says, can karate stop a bullet wren? I like that, yeah. Put one right through his heart. <laughs> Imagine. Send this to Ren. We're kidding about the killing. Of course. But uh, send this to Ren. I want to see how he responds because nobody's ever doubted Ren in his life. You know, he's lived scot-free, making his whole career off these fake charities and all this stuff. I miss Joe, nonsense. actually. Now yeah, I miss Joe that. so much. If anyone so has any good clips from the Brendan Schaub or Red Band episodes with the time codes. But yeah, if anyone has any, because such... we don't watch any. It's such a chore to watch Rogan now, and it's not enjoyable. It's the same nonsense over and over again. So It's awful. Yeah, if you got any notes, feel free to send them. Because I wanted to watch the Red Band one so bad. But we just, just can't do it. It's so boring. I never really thought this is like a new era 
here where it's just so boring we gotta bail out it's a shame and to like take out your hdmi cable to plug yeah. your computer into a tv for something that's so boring is like impossible well to i think the thing through. is it doesn't feel relevant anymore you know what was good about covering rogan it was like this mainstream thing on youtube that everybody saw and i think what we're learning about youtube is youtube is like network television it is like the mainstream where it's like we're watching stuff on there not because we want to but because it's it's being shown to us and because of that it holds a little bit more value because everybody's watching it at the same time it feels like something that should be commented on but when joe rogan's show is buried away on spotify it's like well, it's not in my face anymore so it doesn't feel like it's such a a problem you know, it doesn't feel like it's something that who cares, you know, who cares what he does over in that little red cave.